In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the dissolving jump effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rocker Films. And in today's video, we're talking all about this dissolving jump effect that you can do right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. But what do we need to do in order to capture the footage for this effect? Well, you first need to begin by finding a location with next to no movement in the background. And once you've found this location, you want to mount your camera to a tripod, dial all of the settings into manual mode, make sure nothing is gonna change in an automatic setting, and then frame up your shot. Now, once you've framed up your shot, you want to run into the frame, and you want to jump as if you've come in from another dimension. So do an awesome jump, land, and then once you've done your action, you want to exit the shot, and you want to keep the camera rolling for around 10 seconds. Now, it's really important to mention that nothing or no one should enter the frame whilst you're shooting this clean plate because you want this shot to be completely clear of people and objects. So once you've captured the shot of you jumping and you have the clean plate, both mounted to the tripod, both untouched, both identical, you can drop this into Adobe Premiere Pro and we can begin with the editing process. Now inside of Premiere Pro, you should have two videos imported onto your sequence. You should have the shot of you jumping and you should have your clean plate. So we're gonna begin with the jumping shot first and we're just gonna scroll through to a point where we mid jump. So as you can see, I'm mid jump here. So I'm just gonna cut the first part of the video and we'll delete that. So the video should start where you're coming into the jump. Now we'll scrub across to the clean plate and we'll drag the clean plate onto video layer two. We'll cut the second half of the video because we don't need that. And then we'll drag the first part of that clean plate over onto video layer one. So you should have a second or two of the clean plates and then we should have the jump. Now from here, I'm gonna drag the jumping footage up onto video layer two and we're gonna pull it back in time by half a second or maybe even a second so that these two videos are now overlapping. It's really important to make sure that these two videos are overlapping. Now at the very end of the clean plate, you want to create a brand new keyframe on the jumping footage layer. And we'll scroll back to the very beginning of that jumping footage layer and we'll pull the opacity down to 0%. Now in the blend mode, we'll change this from normal to dissolve. And when we play this back, you can see the dissolving effect is done. All we have to do now is just extend the distance between those two keyframes if you want to extend the duration of that effect. But in effect, that's the effect now complete. And there you go, the effect is now complete. It really is that simple. It's really awesome. And that is how you do the dissolving effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and once you've done both of those, I will see you tomorrow on another brand new video. Thank you for watching.